Literally so much stuff has been revealed as a result of the new Ninjago teaser trailer being released. And so we are going to be talking about each main thing that was revealed to us from this teaser. Starting now with the one thing that caught my attention almost instantly. Who are these new mysterious ninja? Really, really quickly, if you haven't already, I do appreciate the content. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean so, so much to me. We've been growing so fast recently. Any support would be greatly appreciated, and that's all I'm going to ask from you in today's video. With this being said, let's get started. Are they evil? Are they working for Ninjago's government? Are they on the ninja's team? There's just so many questions and so much to unpack here. I mean, it's just pretty crazy. Now, as for their identities, first of all, I do believe that at least one is Skylar. There does also appear to be one that looks very, very similar to Akita, just because of that small flash of red showing underneath the eye, just about visible in the mask. And so those are all for the, for the identities, I believe. And also, actually, one does appear to be Scott in his human form, but maybe that is just a stretch, but yeah, I'm just going to leave that out there. It is definitely a possibility. And just judging from the eyebrows, uh, yeah, they do kind of resemble Scott. Now, as for who they're working for and what they're doing, I personally believe that these are basically like the anti-ninja in a way, and that's going to be a concept. Now, I believe that these guys have been hired by the government, maybe, or at least some of them have, to hunt down the ninja. Now, that does beg the question... Why would Akita and Skylar be hunting down the ninja for the government? That's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, that does seem kind of likely. And considering they are fighting against the ninja, yeah, it's just really confusing. And maybe, who knows, maybe this isn't even Skylar or Scott or Akita or anyone like that. And we just got it completely wrong. There is just so many questions left unanswered there. But I would definitely say that these guys are working for the government to hunt down the ninja. And that's why the ninja are in prison. Maybe this took place before the ninja were put into prison, and this is how they got sent down there. Kind of similar to how Ronin tracked down all of the ninja in Season 6, and then they got thrown into Cryptarium. That's definitely a concept I think is going on right here. Now, the cool thing to know is that these guys have some crazy designs. I mean, just look at them. They look fantastic. I love all of the neon colours going on with them. Really, really cool stuff. They almost look futuristic too, which looks really, really awesome. And yeah, that's all I've got to say on their designs. And overall, this is a concept that seems really, really interesting. I hope they can pull it off in a good way. The anti ninja. Yeah, I love that. It sounds really, really cool. Hopefully, as I keep saying, this can be a good concept utilized well within the season. I do have my hopes up high for these guys. They seem really cool. And they do seem like perhaps a main plot point of the season. Who knows exactly, though, we will definitely just have to wait and see. And who knows, maybe all of my predictions are completely wrong, they're not working for the government, and they're not returning characters, and they are just new people, but who really knows, time will tell. That is basically all I've got to say here. With this being said, please do drop your thoughts down below on all of this in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, please do drop a like onto today's video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you can be the first to keep up to date on all of the latest Ninjago news. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next video, coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.